Hello, this is Bill. Uh, it's the second week of March, but uh, I'm here to do my February update. So in February, I read three and a half books. So the Wind's 12 Quarters by Yersela K. LeClean. Sword and the Stallion by Michael Morcutt. And I, Robot to Protect, which I talked about in my January video. And then I read half of the Three Musketeers, which I showed in my previous video. I'm getting a little closer to the end now. So, uh, The Wind's Twelve Quarters is, is a short story collection, some fantasy and some science fiction. So I read this for first week of February fantasy stories, which, which was cla classic fantasy. But I generally preferred the science fiction stories over the fantasy. The, some of the fantasy stories are set in the Earth, Earthsea trilogy universe, but I haven't read Earthsea, any Earthsea books. And then some of the science fiction stories are set in uh, the Hainish Cycle series. And one of them is set on winter, this, which she then wrote this novel set on winter. The Left Hand of Darkness, and Dispossessed is, is also part of the Hainish cycle. So I read these two books last year. And there's the first three novels in the, in the Hainish series are in this book, which I haven't read yet, but uh, Rokonin's world starts off with a story called The ne Necklace, which was the first story in this book. But in this book it's called Semley's Necklace. So the sword and the stallion was was an okay read, but part, part of what made it less enjoyable probably is because it's the sixth book in the series, and I haven't read any of the earlier ones in the series. This one I read for uh, Sword and Sorcery Week for February Fantasy Stories. Would have been better to read this one, Sword Trilogy, because it's the uh, first three novels in the in the same series. But I I didn't read this one because the February fantasy stories was supposed to be 
stories under 250 pages. And this book is 403 pages. But if I had gone by the individual novels, then in here, then they would have been short enough. In the third week of February, fantasy stories was dark fantasy. I was going to read The Whisper in Darkness by H.P. Lovecraft, but I didn't get around to reading that yet. And week four for February fantasy stories was urban fantasy. I was going to read Stephen King, The Ballad of the Flexible Bullet, but I didn't get that read. So when I was looking for fantasy stories to read, I looked for a bunch of my fantasy and science fiction magazines. But the problem is, when you look in the table of contents, there's no way to tell which stories are science fiction and which are fantasy. And most of the authors I never heard of in, in the magazines I looked at. And I'm more familiar with science fiction authors and not very much with fantasy authors. And I I got an email from from Book Outlet informing me that Seven Surrenders, which was on my wish list, became available. And it, it's book two in the series. Terra, Terra Ignota series and I had book one two with the lightning and book three the will to battle so I got these two books over a year ago and uh, Was waiting for a good price on on seven surrenders. So I found out about Ada Palmer by watching her interviewed on the Singularity weblog. Not I'll post a link below. So that interview is what got me interested in reading these books. Uh, I've previously seen them in in Goodreads updates, but uh, they never particularly caught my attention and, until I seen her interview. Uh, Ada Palmer is. Uh, as a historian, and she uh, uses ideas from her her academic work when she's writing science fiction. On book outlet, you need to spend forty five dollars or more to get free shipping. So when I ordered seven surrenders, I uh, ended up spending 40 more dollars to, uh, so I wouldn't have to spend five dollars for shipping. So the other five books I got in that order were all authors 
Steve Donahue had uh, had mentioned in his uh, mystery starter kit video. So a dark adapted eye by Ruth Randall, writing as Barbara Vine. Death at Fenny by Donna Leon. So I've been getting a few of these all of edition books from Book Outlet. Was uh, they they're fairly cheap. So, but I found that if I wanted to order some new, they're, they're in the range of 10 to $12. But to buy them on Buck Outlet, they uh, tend to be around $4.50 Canadian. And another one I got was Crying at Black Dudley by Marjorie Allingham. And The Daughter of Time by Josephine Tay. And Winter in Madrid by C.J. Sanson. So while reading the The Three Musketeers, I was thinking, might be interesting to continue on with the rest of the series. So I bought some more books. So about 20 years after, which I got for my birthday last year. But then the ones I just bought in February or we got three more but I don't know how to speak French so you'll have to read the title and then there's this one and the the man in the iron mask. It's called Chris on the Leaf by Leaf channel as a Western core series where he has a list of 15 books which uh, has as an introduction to the Western canon. So, uh, since that list is only 15 items, I figured that's doable in a reasonable amount of time as opposed to other lists where I might end up spending the rest of my life in ancient Greece. So uh, when I was buying books on Amazon, I ended up getting Faust part one and part two to uh, which is one of the books that uh, was on hit on Chris's list, which I didn't have yet. So uh, I, 
I can't just tell you his whole list because uh, that would be just copying his script. So if you want to know what the 15 books are, you need to watch his video, which I'll link below. So that, that's all for now. Uh, maybe I'll be a little more timely with my March update. But it's the second week in March, and I haven't got started on the, on the mystery books for March Mystery Madness. <laughs>